2021, August. The Islamic Republic of Afghanistan has collapsed. City after city has fallen to the Taliban, with the Afghan army melting away faster than the polar ice caps after a 30 degree global temperature rise. But who are the Taliban? And where did this radical Islamist group come from? To answer that question, it is necessary to wind the clock back to 1989. The last Soviet troops, who had occupied the country for the previous decade, withdrew, leaving the Democratic Republic of Afghanistan's communist government to look to its own defences. Throughout the 1980s, the USA and anti-Soviet Western allies provided arms and other assistance to opposition forces known collectively as the Mujahideen, meaning defenders of the faith. After the collapse of the communist government, most, though not all, Mujahideen parties came together to form the Islamic State of Afghanistan, However, this government was plagued by division and in 1992 descended into civil war. One man who gained notoriety from this chaos was Mohammed Omar. Omar had been a Mujahideen fighter against the Soviet occupation and in the civil war that followed. According to one Taliban legend, Omar had a dream in which a woman said to him, We need your help. You must rise. You must end the chaos. Allah will help you. Whether the dream was true or not, in 1994, Omar founded a movement in the city of Kandahar to rid Afghanistan of corrupt warlords and establish a fundamentalist form of Islamist law. Recruiting soldiers from madrasas in Afghanistan and neighbouring Pakistan, the group came to be known as the Taliban, the word for students in the Pashtun language. The group grew rapidly and by 1996 had seized control of most of the country. Omar was declared commander of the faithful and for the next five years would be ruler of a state characterised by its extremist interpretation of Sharia law, brutal repression of women and being a haven for terrorist groups such as Al-Qaeda until the US-led invasion in 2001. I hope you found this video interesting and you can listen to the Despots Bookshelf podcasts by clicking the link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more despotic history from the Despots Bookshelf.